Today we're going to make an outdoor bar out of concrete. Here is what you need to get started. Laminate board, galvanized bolts, silicone caulk, some 2x4s, and some redwood fence boards. Either of these types of concrete mix will work just fine. Quickcrete 5000 is a little bit cheaper. The commercial grade countertop mix is a little bit easier to work with and will come out with a harder and smoother finish. I use the melamine board to make the molds for the concrete slabs. You can cut it just fine with a circular saw using a straight edge, but if you have a table saw that makes it a little bit easier. I used short pieces of 2x4s and 2x3s as supports and screwed the molds together. Take your time and make sure that the molds are nice and square. I used a hot glue gun to reinforce the corners. I used silicone caulk to seal all the edges. I used leftover pieces of melamine board to make holders for the galvanized bolts. I glued thin strips of plywood onto the ends of the boards to keep them up and away from the wet concrete. I used a sawzall to cut some half inch rebar to use as reinforcement. I wired four pieces of rebar into a frame for each one of the slabs. I adjusted the bolts so that they'll stick about halfway into the slab. It's important to make sure that the mold is completely clean before you pour the concrete in it. Mix the concretes and fill the molds about three quarters of the way. Make sure you push the concrete down into all the corners as you fill it. Place the rebar in the wet concrete. Fill up the molds the rest of the way and then use a board to screed the top. I troweled the surface of the concrete and then place the anchor bolts into the wet concrete. I let the concrete cure three full days before stripping the molds. I screwed together two by fours to make frames for the support wall. Mark the location of the anchor bolts on the wood frame. and then drill through the 2x4. At first, just loosely bolt the frames to the slabs. Tilt up both slabs and then screw the frames to a 2x4. After screwing on the top plate, we were ready to lift the 200 pound slab into place. Watch your fingers as you try to line up the anchor bolts with the holes in the 2x4s. Now that all three slabs are in place, I can tighten up all the bolts. I wanted the concrete to be a little bit darker, so I used a penetrating stain from Quickcrete. Handed down some fence boards to use as cladding. I pre-finished them before screwing them onto the support wall.
For more detailed instructions, check out my website and be sure to follow me on social media.